Alrighty, what is going on everybody? It is Mr. Buddy here, bringing you guys another one of my fan games of the week, where I get to take a look at some of the cool and interesting fan games I find on my journeys throughout the internet. So, I mean, I use the word fan games very lightly because it seems like I only do Pokemon fan games now, but uh, maybe one day I'll branch off and do another Nintendo video. But for right now, I want to take a look at Pokemon 3D, which is actually a pretty cool fan game. It... I mean, just like the name of it uh, pretty much implies, it is Pokemon, but with 3D graphics. Now, I know we have, you know, Generation 6 and stuff that does that, but this game, um, it's my understanding that I've played a little bit of it, but it's a remake of the Generation 2 Pokemon games. So, uh, Pokemon Gold, Pokemon Silver, and Pokemon Crystal, but as you can see from kind of the background right now, it's done that in kind of a 3D graphical style that looks very retro. Uh, it's still using the same textures and stuff from those games. So even though it is 3D, it does have that just really cool old aesthetic to it, or retro, I guess. Um, but why, why, why talk more about it when we can actually uh, play? So uh, let's see what it's telling me. Starting off on game. So that's actually one of the things I should uh, mention. So even though the game itself is pretty much, uh, is pretty much kind of like a straight remake of the Gen 2 games. Uh, the developers, and I believe that there's only, I might be wrong on this, but I believe there's only three or four people that have worked on this entire game, which is really, really incredible. Um, but they've added a whole bunch of just awesome online features and customization features and things like that, that, um, I'll talk about a little bit more. Like, one of the things is that there's actually online multiplayer you can do with, I believe, up to four players and possibly more. I've only seen it done with four before. But you can actually like have four people running around in this world, and it's just really cool to see. I mean, if I had friends, I'd totally try that out, but I I, uh, I am a lone man in this unholy world. <laughs> okay, so here's another one of the cool features is, so I mean, as you can see, it uses the Gen 4 sprites, which is cool, but you can also do like other sprites from other uh, Pokemon games, like this, as you can see. And that's one of the big features, is that you can kind of customize really your player sprite so you can choose a whole bunch they have like an online resource center where you can choose a bunch more so it's really really cool um i'm gonna choose hilda because hilda is the best girl uh at least the best female uh pokemon player character i mean i'm sure i'm going to upset people by saying <laughs> that but uh come at me that's all i'm gonna say so here we go you're gonna get your first look at this now and as you can see, this looks probably about like what you would expect, right? This is, I mean, it is 3D graphics, but I mean, it just has that retro uh, Game Boy Color just texture and sprite look to it, which I think is really, really cool. Maybe I'm just too nostalgic, but I think it looks cool. Alrighty, let's go over to the computer. Um, do you want to view the mystery events? No, that's all right. So the mystery events are you can actually download online. There's a whole bunch of things you can download, and I believe that the computer is where you look at them at. Like, you can download different game modes. I think somebody made, like, an official Nuzlocke mode you could download. There's just a whole bunch of things online you can do and add to the game to really make it your own, and I think that's just awesome. A Nintendo Wii is connected via Wi-Fi already. We're in the future now. We got a Wii back in, uh, like, 1999 or whatever this was released. It's been too long. Man, this is my favorite picture in the whole house. <laughs> Alrighty, that, that's enough of that. Let's go down here. It's times like this that I really wish I had an Oculus Rift because... I've seen some people uh, just do like playthrough videos with an Oculus in this game that looks so cool. Though actually being in this world would be pretty neat to see. Yep, I do. Now to use my phone. Alright. Lots, lots of buttons. I, I know a little bit about the buttons, but not, not a whole lot. <laughs> Alright, you got all that stuff. All right, let's go over here. I mean, one thing... God, how do I put it? <laughs> God, look at the house. So one thing I think is worth mentioning is that even though the game is in 3D graphics, as you can see, um, one of the things you should know is that the game still does have kind of like a grid, if you will, for lack of a better word. Like, there's a grid that your player travels on. Like, as you can see, um, like, for example... 
let me go on this uh, grass square. Like, if I wanted to go diagonally to, like, that tile up there, I couldn't do it because the game is still confined to a grid. Um, the reason I'm bringing this up, I know this might seem like a minor technical thing you probably don't care about, but, I mean, I know for a lot of people they might be expecting, like, true, uh, free 3D movement, but the game is still confined to a grid. So don't worry if you're, like, turning and you're not moving that way. It's just because you're moving on a grid like the regular Pokemon games. Um, like, another example is, like, if I press S to go backwards, I actually do, like, the 180. You cannot move backwards in that sense. You can only move forwards, uh, forward, wow. You can move forwards, everybody, jeez. Um, but anyway, that's just kind of a minor gameplay thing in case anybody <laughs> cares. Which, I, maybe it's just me that cares about that, I don't know. I, I don't know how many people care about that sort of insight. But, uh, let's go get our, uh, Pokemon. Let's keep this uh, gameplay video going. There's Professor Elm. Um, I mean, I, I know I don't do questions of the day at all, but I mean, here's the question of the day. Do you guys like Professor Elm or do you think he's lame? Because for me, I think he's probably the lamest professor. <laughs> oh man. I don't know, that's just me. I always felt like Professor Elm did like absolutely nothing. But, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong there. Yeah, we're going to take Totodile. He's one of my favorite starters out there. Um, we don't really need to rename it. Ah, uh, that's alright. Alrighty, he lives near Cherry Grove. Let's do it. Um, just, just a quick note right now before we get to the forest, but I, I do get lost a lot. Like, I know Gen 2 really well. I feel like, and I hope I'm not bragging by saying that, but when you put it in, like, the third dimension like this, I get lost. The trees, man. The trees mess me up. Alright, there's only two of us. We're always busy. God, what? Is Professor Elm so cheap that you can't hire a third assistant? I mean, come on. Oh, whatever. Alright, so here's another cool feature uh, we can talk about, but uh, one of the things they've added is that weather is in this game, as you can probably see from the the rain. I mean, duh, you're probably like, Mr. Buddy, just shut the heck up, and <laughs> I will oblige after I talk about the rain. So there is weather in this game, just like the Gen 5 games, um, or I guess more games besides Gen 5 do weather, right? Um, I'm thinking of seasons, so there's weather and seasons and day and night cycles, so this game has a lot. Like right now, as you can see the trees, um, I think it is supposed to be the fall season. Um, which I think happened because I am technically recording this, um, I think September-ish. I think that's when I'm recording this now. I had done a previous recording of the game, but due to some audio things, I, I had to re-record this fan game again. <laughs> which is sort of a bummer, but, uh... So one cool thing you're seeing right now is the battle scene, or the battle sequence, I guess. Whatever you want to call it, this is how battles look like in the game. And as you can see, it says that the battle system is not final, but at least in my opinion, I think that this is a nice battle system sequence right here. I really like how, uh, really how they've kind of organized how the, the battle UI, I guess, as you would call it. Because, uh, when you think about it, I think every Pokemon game from Generation 4 onward has always had two touch sc or two screens. So in, like, modern Pokemon games, you always have, like, all of this stuff on the bottom screen, like, when you think about it. But now that, uh, this is supposed to be on, kind of, the desktop, you can organize your battle just like this, and it's actually nice. Like, you can have your attacks and stuff right here, you can go back like that. I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm talking too much about technical things here, I don't know, I'll... I'll, I'll get more zany and goofy later, but <laughs> I'm just a man who appreciates a good uh, interface. That's me. Alright, I don't think he gave us any Pokeballs, right? Because, uh, fun fact, but uh, Furret is the best, and that's the only reason why I'd ever catch a Sentret. Actually, I'm going to check to see if we have any uh, Pokeballs. Uh, we got a Potion, that's going to come in handy. Nope, nothing. Well, that's all right. We're going to beat the crap out of this Sentret. And it is out of here. Boosh! That's it done, Total Isle. Oops, that was the wrong button. Sorry, I was taking a swig of my Powerade. 
Ugh, does not taste good. Ugh, God, what fra- oh, jeez, what flavor is that? It says it's grape, but that does not taste like grape. Are you serious? I just went the wrong way. Ugh. I got- I got friggin' disoriented from my- my acidic, uh, Powerade. God, it tastes so nasty. Alrighty, let's get, uh, let's get going over here. I think this is the right way to go. I mean, as you can see, Gaul, it looks really nice. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my nostalgia clouding my, uh, my view of the game. But I think that just having this, uh, this third dimension here is cool. Like, all these trees, it makes it look like a big area. Um, you can even see, like, the Pokemon Center and Pokemart in the distance. I think that that's so cool. I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things. And then with the addedness, uh, or the added, uh, I guess dynamic of rain, it just, it's so cool. Alright, we'll go into this checkpoint. And this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Just seeing, like, the, uh, the magnet train running overhead, I think is super cool. God, I don't know. It's, it's just something like actually seeing it represented in the environment is a small detail, but I think it's super cool that they actually uh, went out of their way to, uh, you know, put that in. Because as far as I know, I don't think that uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver and Crystal, I don't think they have the bullet train visible. Um, as far as I remember, it's been so long since I played those, though. But, uh, oh, no, that's just me. Alrighty, is it even worth it to battle? I, th I think we should. We're gonna have to fight Silver pretty soon, so uh, we'll we'll battle. Alrighty. So I've got to apologize right now, you guys, because my fan is going. So hopefully it isn't too hard to hear me, or hopefully the fan isn't too noticeable in the background. Um, I'd feel awful if you didn't notice it until I said anything. Then that would that would suck. Um, but it's like a billion degrees uh, right now in my house, so I have to put the fan on or else I will ignite into flames. Like, I don't know how many of you guys have seen uh, Indiana Jones, but uh, do you know the scene where the guy like opens up the arc and then he starts melting? That That's sort of what happened to me. Like Part of my face looks like that right now, so I I need the fan on or else I'm I'm doomed. <laughs> Alrighty, um, how, how damaged did, uh, Totodile get? Y'all, oh, that's not the right button, that's alright. We'll just, we'll keep going. I'll use a potion in the battle if he's that low. I didn't even see. Oh, what button is it? Nope, wrong, not that one. Oh, free camera mode is off. I guess that's what the, uh, G button does, or was it B? V? R. T. Alright, I've messed it up. <laughs> Crap, alright, I need to fix that. I'll need to look up the controls. But right now, I've limited my camera, so it's just like what you would see in a regular uh, Pokemon game. Like, I can only move it up and down, and then I'm confined to the grid. Dang it, that, that was my bad. Oh, dang it. Alright, we're gonna run Totodile because I've, I've messed it up. Maybe three, four. Oh, oh there's the bag. <laughs> my gosh. Sorry, I'm pressing every button I can. Alright, there we go. I don't know what I pressed, but I'm not going to press anything uh, anything else now. Actually, one thing I will press, because um, you might be wondering, like, Mr. Buddy, why does it matter what uh, trainer sprite you choose? And that's because you can actually switch between first-person mode and third-person mode, like this. And you can actually see your character running around. You can zoom around. You can see Hilda and all her glory. There's Totodile back there. So you can run around like this. Um, personally for me, I, I don't really like controlling it like this. It feels just sort of weird to me. I'd rather have it in first person. So that's usually what I stick to uh, doing. But I mean, that's just kind of a cool thing in case you wanted to do a uh, third person. All right, here's the Pokemon Center. Looks pretty nice in here. All right, would you like to rest? Yeah, let's do it. Um, one thing, I don't know if I mentioned it a lot in dev, but uh, there's a lot of online features. So, like, I think I mentioned before, there is, like, the, uh, you can customize your character sprite. Uh, there is online multiplayer, but there's also a GTS in place. So, there's actually, you can trade with other people. There's online battles. Um, there's just tons of things online. They, this game has really embraced the online aspect of it, which I think is really, really cool. 
Um, aside from that, though, the game plays really similarly to just, like, a standard uh, Pokemon game. I mean, for better or for worse, the game really is, uh... Alright, I'm, I'm liking this. Yeah, let's get five of them. Did I buy them? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, okay, I did. This wasn't sure. I mean, for better or for worse, the game does play very, very similarly to just a standard Pokemon game, like, from Gen 2 or whatever. You know, like, I mean, gameplay-wise, not a whole lot is really added. Um, but, I mean, it's awesome just to see the game in this, uh, this perspective, so I think it's pretty cool. I mean, this definitely isn't my favorite Pokemon fan game out there, but it's certainly not my least favorite. And it's not a bad game by any means. Alrighty, a Caterpie. But we're gonna run away, because I don't feel like messing with that thing. Uh, so, fun fact, a lot of people think that this is Mr. Pokemon's house, but it is not. It's it's like an acorn guy. It's like, I, I don't even know what he does, but he gives you like an apricot or something. I think that's what it is, right? Isn't it uh, apricorns in this game, or is it apricots? It's something ape. I know that. It's been way too long. All I remember is that uh, you get to pick all of them, then you get to make special uh, Pokeballs from Kurt, and I always thought that was the coolest thing. I really wish they'd bring that back in the future, you know? Have, like, the, uh... God, what kind of balls did he even make? I remember he made, like, the, uh... I think it was like the, was it the lure ball or the dive ball or something? I know it was something that helped catch like water types. And I thought that was always super dope. God, it's been forever, so <laughs> somebody please correct me in the comments. I know I'm, I know I'm wrong there. Why, hello there! Aha! So you're Hilda. I'm Oak, a Pokemon researcher. I was just visiting my old friend, Mr. Pokemon, and I heard you were running an errand for Professor Elm, so I waited here. Oh? What's this? A rare Pokemon. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. I see. I understand why Professor Elm gave you a Pokemon for this errand. To researchers like Professor Elm and I, Pokemon are our friends. He saw that you would treat your Pokemon with love and care. Ah! You seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, this is the latest version of Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia of sorts. Go meet many kinds of Pokémon and complete that Pokédex. But I've stayed too long. I have to get to Goldenrod for my usual radio show. Hilda, I'm counting on you! Alrighty, so that was my Oak voice. I've been trying to hone it make it perfect, but, uh, I've, I've still got a long way to go. I can do that in the James voice pretty well, but anybody else I, I cannot do. Alrighty, so we need to get back there because Silver has decided to steal a starter. And, strangely enough, it's going to be the one that's super effective against mine. I guess, uh, Silver's, Silver's pretty good at being a jerk even when he doesn't know what to do. To be a jerk, that is. All right, here we go. Running through. Yep, there's the uh, the magnet train line. Here's another cool thing, but this is just like an item that you could find on the ground. And like regular games, they usually uh, they usually show items as pokeballs, but in this game, they actually use like their sprites, which I think is pretty cool. Alrighty, I know I probably should be battling these things to get higher, but I I am not. Oh, you. Alrighty, going through Cherry Grove. There's the beautiful ocean. God, I, like, how does that guy even get over there? You know, like, what did he do to get there? There's like no bridge or anything, so I he's stuck there. Look at him just looking over here. Jeez. I think I see a tear coming out of his eye. He's gonna be stuck there forever. Alrighty. So, let's just run back there. We'll fight Silver, and I think that will be the end of this fan game of the week. There he is. I, I did. What a waste. A wimp like you? 
Don't you get what I'm saying? Well, I too have a good Pokemon. I'll show you what I mean. Alrighty, whatever you whatever you say, Silver. Alrighty, I'm gonna hit him with a scratch. Woo, doggy! How about another scratch? I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm doing good. I think he uh, I think he has a berry or something though, so that's I'm not gonna win. Yeah, there it is. There's the charm already. Alright, hopefully I'll be able to endure one more uh one more hit from Chikorita. That's alright, I'm just gonna keep uh, hitting it with uh, scratch. You know how I be. Booyah! That's a crit. That is a critical. Nice job, Totodile! Alright. Come back, Chikorita! Ugh. Well, Silver, I just put you in your place, son, so step back. God, you get you get to see him walk all the way down there. It's it's pretty good. <laughs> There he goes! Alrighty. What are you looking at, old man? You could have helped. Could have called the police, but instead you just watched me battle. Alrighty, let's go back to Elm's house, and then um, I think I'll end this fan game of the week there. Um, this is definitely one of the shorter fan games of the weeks that I've done, but honestly, there isn't too much to show. And I don't mean that to be a bad thing, it's just that... This game is just like the Gen 2 Pokemon games, but with uh, 3D, and it's not a whole lot to really show off, you know? It's it's cool, don't get me wrong, it's just, it's hard to, it's hard to show off what makes it special. You just have to uh, play it, I think. Alrighty. Almost there, let's do a brisk jog. What's going on, New Bark Town? I'm back. Here's where Silver was hiding. This is a pretty good hiding spot. Oh, there's the police. Late as always, I see. Alright, you heard a Pokemon was stolen. Really? Did you not see the red-haired kid running around? Jeez, Louise. Did I happen to get his name? Oh, Silver, that's good. Then back in the day, I always used to name him a question mark, question mark, question mark. Because that's what it said his name was, you know? I don't know, I, w I was just a kid back then. Give me, give me a break. <laughs> God, look at that, he he's really shocked at that egg. I mean, I guess this is like the first time they introduced eggs and breeding into the games, which is pretty cool. Wow, I, I guess I do have what it takes to be the champion. Just from carrying that egg around with me, alrighty. Alright, before you leave, make sure you talk to your mom. Alright, sure. Oh, we got our Pokeballs, finally. Neat! Alrighty, well, that's that's great. Alrighty, I think this is a good a good spot to end on. This has been uh, Pokemon 3D, which is a really cool fan game that takes kind of the original Generation 2 games and turns them, or I guess it's just, yeah, it just pretty much converts them into really 3D graphics like this. And also adds in a bunch of cool uh, details and things you can do, such as like online multiplayer, skin customization, there's texture packs for the game too. So it's really cool, and if you want to check it out, I throw up a link in the description below. Uh, this is not my favorite fan game of all time because it really is just a, uh, a remake of kind of the Gen 2 games, as I was saying. But that does not mean it's bad by any means. This is definitely a cool game, and a lot of these things are just really neat to uh, really see and experience. So thanks for watching this fan game of the week, you guys, and I will catch you later.